All right, so this is going to be an example video of how to use the substring function and the dot find function in C++, uh, both of which we'll be using for lab seven. So first, let me just make a new string here, and we'll just call it str. And we'll say that this is an example of how to use substrings. OK. So let's say that we just wanted to get one word out of this string. So for example, we'll just get the word this. So I'll just make a new string. And now what I want to do is I want to say that we're going to get a substring from our str string. We'll call the substring function. And we want to pass it two parameters. So the first parameter is going to be the starting index of the word that we want to print. So in this case, we just want to get the first word which starts at index zero of our longer string. And then the second parameter that we want to give it is the number of characters that we want. So in this case, the word this is four characters long. So I'll just pass it four. So let's see out this and see what it does. And this should give us just the word this, which it does. So let's do an example of um, a word that isn't the first word in the string. So we'll just get the word example. I'll comment this out so you guys have it. We'll make a new string, we'll call it temp. Okay. And then now we'll use the substring function on our str string. And I wanna pass it the starting index of the word example. So if I highlight the characters that come before the word example, we can see that we've highlighted 11 characters down here. So I'll pass it the starting index of 11 an example is seven characters long, so we'll pass it seven. And now we'll see out this one. Okay, so we can see that it gave us the word example. So an easier way to do this, um, in the case that we have a much longer string, instead of just passing it the starting index, which we had to count manually, we can use a function to do that for us. So I'll show you guys how to use the dot find function. So what we can do is we can make a new integer and we can call it index. And then we can say str.find. And now we want to find the first occurrence of some word in our string. So in this case, we'll use example. And then we'll just see out index to see what it gives us. And this should give us 11, which it does. So instead of hard coding 11 into our substring function, what we can use is we can say str.find, and then we can just give it example. So now this should just do the same thing as before, and it will give us example. Okay, so now let's say that we wanted to get multiple words out of the string. So I'll just get the first four words. So we want some string temp to contain the words, this is an example. So we'll make our string temp again. And then we'll say str.substring. And since our sentence starts at index zero, we'll pass it index zero. And then now we wanna find the length of this string. So I highlighted it all, and we can see that it's 18 characters long. So we'll pass this 18. And then we'll see out temp again. And it gives us the sentence, this is an example.